Hello Internet. In this video, I'm going to be using TinyGrad to generate OpenCL kernel code and use that code with uh, PyOpenCL to perform operations on the GPU. Now, this is an experimental video and uh, it is uh, mostly for me to better understand the internals of uh, TinyGrad. I hope it uh, helps you too. So let's let's dive right in. I'm gonna activate the uh, Conda environment where I have TinyGrad and uh, PyOpenCL installed, and uh, we'll just be working with the uh, Python shell today. We don't have to create a new file for this. Okay, so so first of all, let us import uh, Tensor from uh, the TinyGrad uh, library from TinyGrad.tensor import tensor and let's keep our data very simple for now with uh, just uh, say one value I'm gonna say five here and b equals tensor of uh, say six and we want to add these two numbers i'm going to say a plus b now as you might know these are all lazy tensors right um, but uh, what is really happening here to see that we can make use of uh, a cool function from the TinyGrad uh, library called uh, print tree. Now to print the tree we need to get uh, an abstract syntax tree from uh, these lazy tensors and uh, the lazy tensor we are most interested in is sum. So, so we need to first call the schedule function on uh, some lazy data okay so what do we have here okay this looks like a big array how many, how many items does it have okay let's let's work with the last item Yeah, as you can see here, we have an AST here, and it is a lazy op. So, yeah, that is exactly what we need to pass to print tree. So let's say AST equals sum shed of uh, two, and uh, then call print tree. We need to get uh, some share of 2.ast and then yeah now as you can see we have uh, the add function the add uh, operator and we have our two tiny arrays now we can use this to generate OpenCL code OpenCL kernel code so how are we going to do that First, we need to uh, import something called a linearizer from tinygrad.cogen.linearizer import linearizer. Okay, now, uh, so let me call help on linearizer. Okay, so this expects this expects the AST2, so we can just say L equals linearizer AST. Now I can just say L equals L dot uh, linearize. Once it is linearized, we can we can use it to generate uh, code for a variety of uh, 
platforms like OpenCO, Metal, Clang, and so on. But first, we need to import the right renderer. First, we'll be working with OpenCO, so let us import uh, the renderer for OpenCO. All we need to pass to this uh, constructor is a name for the kernel. Let's let's call our kernel my sum, and then you need to pass uh, the uops property of uh, the linearizer. And uh, with just this, we have just uh, generated OpenCL kernel code. This doesn't look very readable, so let us uh, make use of a pretty printer. Data 1 would be our A, data 2 would be B, and data 0 would be the result, as you can see here. And, and of course, let us just check what uh, result uh, TinyGrad gives us. So it's 11, obviously. 5 plus uh, 6. Right? Isn't that true? Yeah. So now let us use this kernel with pi open seal to generate the same result. But first I just want to show you that uh, it's it's very easy to generate code for a variety of other ml accelerators with uh, tinygrad uh, for example if i wanted to generate uh, metal code i would just uh, import uh, metal renderer and create a metal renderer object as the name of the kernel and L dot U ups again. And there you go. We just generated code that would make use of metal on uh, a Mac. Okay, time to shift to OpenCL. So let us import uh, high OpenCL as a seal. Uh, now, if you know OpenCL already, uh, you might be familiar with uh, a lot of uh, these methods. Um, first, let us look at uh, the get platforms method to see if uh, we have any OpenCL platforms available on my device. And I do. That is good. So. Uh, OpenCL supports a variety of uh, device types, like it supports CPU, GPU, accelerator, and so on. Let's see, let's see what uh, this Python library supports. So, device type. This is a class, so I can say. All right. So as you can see. We do have GPU, CPU, and accelerator. Cool. So let us create our uh, context. I'm just going to say dev type equals uh, cl dot device type dot uh, GPU, and then we can uh, create our uh, command queue. I'm 
just pass the context to it. Working with OpenCL in uh, Python is ridiculously easy compared to working with uh, C. Okay, now that we have our uh, queue, um, let us create our data. I mean, we do have our data already, but it is a lazy tensor. So we have to convert it to a NumPy array. Same for uh, yeah, NumPy. And uh, we need a yeah, we need a place to store the sum. And for this, we can uh, let's let's first import uh, NumPy and say some host equals np dot uh, empty like uh, say a host and some host yeah. why is some host six Now it is time to create uh, buffers on for the GPU because this is a host memory. So let's create uh, a buffer. buffer. Um, the first argument is the context. Then we have to make use of uh, CO mem flags and say that this is uh, read only and that we need to copy the host pointer and then say host uh, buff equals uh, a host i hope i didn't make any mistakes here okay this is good so we have to repeat this for the b buffer as well specify uh, the number of uh, bytes this buffer has so we can just say a host that uh, invites okay good and now we are all uh, set to create uh, a program an open seal program so we say and we just uh, pass uh, the context to this and uh, oh this should do did it work okay let's uh, build the program See if this has a function called my sum. Yes, it does indeed. So if I, if I do help program my sum, you can see that this is a kernel call, 
and you have to pass the queue, the global size, local size, and then the args. So, what are the args of our kernel? So we have uh, data zero, data one, and data two. Data zero is the is the sum buffer. Data one and data two would be A and B respectively. So let's call program sum. And uh, to do that, uh, we just have to say program dot uh, sum has the has the queue and then the global size that could just be uh, a host dot uh, and then. I'm not gonna deal with the local size. And then we just say sum buffer, a buffer, b buffer. And this should just uh, work. Okay. Okay. Um, so now we have to copy the data back from the sum buffer into our uh, sum host. And to do that, we have to call uh, co uh, nq copy and pass the q and uh, the host and the buffer. Great. So did it work? And we got eleven. So great. So our result matches the result that we got from uh, TinyGrad. So yeah, now I think we understand pretty well how TinyGrad works. But of course, all of this is automated with uh, TinyGrad because it's a, it's a pretty complete framework. But by doing this, we understood TinyGrad's internals better.